President Trump has issued an order to our military forces that will strengthen our presence in the Pacific Sea, in light of Kim Jong-un's continued threats. According to underscore the Sean Hannity show comma underscore two U.S. Navy aircraft carrier strike groups have arrived in the Pacific in recent days, bringing the total number of carriers in the region up to three, as President Trump prepares for a visit to the area early in November. The USS underscore Nimitz underscore will be joining the USS underscore Theodore Roosevelt underscore and the USS underscore Ronald Reagan underscore in the Western Pacific Ocean alongside its respective strike group, auxiliary ships, and submarines. It's an unprecedented concentration of military might to have so many strike groups deployed in a single region, and it is indicative of President Trump's seriousness in stopping North Korea's missile programs. The USS underscore Ronald Reagan underscore has been based in Japan and has been conducting exercises with South Korean forces in the past week, a move that has drawn further condemnation from North Korea. Japan's defense minister recently claimed the situation has reached an unprecedented, critical and imminent level, and implied that military action might very well be required, according to underscore app news underscore. The deployment of the underscore Nimitz underscore to the region, among other interpretations, can be seen as an acknowledgement of his remarks. The defense minister's comments come in light of recent missile launches by North Korea over Japanese territory, both in August and in September. The move comes in advance of a planned trip by President Trump to South Korea, which will include the possibility of stopping by the demilitarized zone that separates South and North Korea. The trip will kick off a tour of the Asia-Pacific region, which will include a briefing from U.S. Pacific Command in Hawaii on November 3 before traveling across Japan, South Korea, China, and Vietnam. The president will also be stopping in Beijing to speak with the Chinese president about jointly curtailing the North Korean threat, according to underscore the independent dot underscore, the Navy is taking advantage of a scheduling overlap to demonstrate its capabilities to potential adversaries, said John Kirby, a former U.S. Navy Admiral. Captain Carlos Sardillo the commanding officer of the underscore Roosevelt underscore, said that the ship could be employed for the full spectrum of possible missions, from humanitarian relief to combat operations, and that when a carrier leaves on deployment, we have to be ready for anything, according to underscore CNN dot underscore, among other things, the combined strike group will be conducting a missile tracking exercise alongside South Korean and Japanese ships. The TUDA training exercise, which began on Tuesday, is designed to help prepare the three nations with missile detection and bolster their tracking abilities to better protect against North Korean ballistic threats. Each nation's Aegis destroyers will detect and track and share information on a virtual target simulating a North Korean ballistic missile, said a statement from the South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff. Tensions between Washington and Pyongyang are at an all-time high. Will we be at war with North Korea soon? President Trump has repeatedly warned Kim Jong-un that any provocative act that could be perceived as an act of aggression would bring about the total destruction of North Korea, a comment that the young leader said was an act of war while doubling down on its commitment. To our allies in the region who have become worried about recent developments, this military move will surely help alleviate those concerns.